Towering above this bustling Chinese megacity, the Shanghai Tower spirals into the clouds, an emblem of architectural daring. This leviathan of steel and glass defies not just gravity, but the very constraints of urban construction. The tower is home to the planet's highest observation deck and claims to be the world's most sustainable megatall skyscraper. But there is a big, big problem. Amidst swirling controversies, does this megatall marvel stand as the city's golden child? Or is this one of China's biggest megaproject failures? In Shanghai's Lujiazui Financial District, a transformation from flatlands to financial powerhouse has unfolded. The skyline here is a triumvirate of architectural marvels. The stately Jin Mao Tower, the imposing World Financial Center, and the transcendent Shanghai Tower. These structures, especially the Shanghai Tower, stretch ambitiously skyward, surpassing the 600-meter mark as a symbol of China's burgeoning economy. This district, once quiet, now buzzes with the energy of commerce and innovation. The Shanghai Tower, in particular, was envisioned to embody both splendor and practicality, challenging engineers with its height and unique twisted form. As the final flourish to Lu Jiazui's skyline, the tower was not just another addition, but a defining statement of China's global economic stature. With such a project came myriad challenges, the technical mastery needed to build so high, the aesthetic boldness to stand out, and the considerable financial investment required to realize such a dream. The rapid urban growth of Shanghai provided a backdrop for the government's ambitious vision of Lu Jiazui, which was to not just accommodate, but to drive economic growth. Constructing the Shanghai Tower presented a set of challenges that required meticulous engineering solutions. Shanghai's geographical composition, primarily a dense mix of clay and silt, mandated a robust foundation capable of supporting the immense structure. The design team opted for a bundled tube structure, which involved super columns spreading the load evenly supported by a 6-meter-thick mat foundation, reinforced with an extensive steel network for additional stability. Below the foundation, engineers installed 980 underground pylons, some extending to depths of 86 meters, to anchor the tower. The construction of the core employed a slip-forming technique, an efficient method allowing for continuous concrete pouring and curing simultaneously as the structure ascended. The concrete pour for the foundation was a logistical feat, one of the longest ever at 63 hours, setting the stage for the tower's rapid vertical growth with the core rising at a rate of one floor approximately every four hours. Wind tunnel tests influenced the tower's twist design, leading to a 24% reduction in wind loads compared to a standard rectangular building. Load transfer was managed through the tower's core and a mega-frame system, employing high-performance materials. The structure's resilience against natural disasters like earthquakes and typhoons was bolstered by advanced damper systems and the use of durable, high-tech materials. Throughout the construction, safety protocols were strictly adhered to, ensuring the protection of workers even at extreme heights. The project also marked key milestones, such as the core's completion and the finalization of the glass facade under these rigorous safety standards. The construction of the Shanghai Tower was a collaborative international effort, synthesizing expertise from various disciplines. Despite the challenges encountered, from the soft soil to the architectural demands of a spiraling skyscraper, the engineering strategies implemented were not only innovative, but effective, showcasing the potential of modern construction techniques in overcoming complex building challenges. The Shanghai Tower, designed by Gensler, presents a case study in advanced skyscraper engineering. Its 120-degree spiral ascent is not just a visual hallmark, but a strategic design to combat wind forces that impact super-tall structures. The segmentation into nine cylindrical stacks enhances the tower's stability and contributes to a more aerodynamic form, a conclusion supported by exhaustive wind tunnel testing. The engineering behind the tower's facade is particularly notable, 
The double-layered glass not only creates an aesthetic appeal, but also serves an insulation role, reducing thermal exchange and, consequently, the energy required for temperature control within the building. This design creates atriums throughout the structure, functioning as sky gardens that serve as communal spaces and contribute to the building's sustainability goals. Sustainability is further woven into the tower's fabric with wind turbines that generate a significant amount of energy and rainwater collection systems that contribute to the building's efficiency. These elements played a crucial role in the Shanghai Tower, achieving LEED Platinum Certification. The tower's interior is zoned vertically, separating office, retail, and leisure spaces, each with its own sky lobby. The sky gardens are strategically interspersed, providing not only aesthetic value, but also contributing to the psychological well-being of occupants and the building's overall environmental sustainability. Material used in construction, from the high-performance glass of the facade to the composite materials of the interior, were chosen for their durability and performance characteristics. The building also incorporates state-of-the-art utilities, including advanced water filtration and HVAC systems, bolstering its status as a model of modern, sustainable building practices. The observation deck is an engineering marvel in itself, offering expansive views and attracting visitors, while the tower's integration with Shanghai's transportation system emphasizes its role in the urban fabric. The allocation of space within the tower is thoughtfully planned, balancing commercial and public use. These design choices reflect not only engineering expertise, but also a consideration for the tower's cultural and social impact on the city of Shanghai. The Shanghai Tower stands as a beacon of sustainable engineering. Its upper reaches are equipped with wind turbines that exploit the relentless high-altitude winds for power generation. Below, a rainwater recycling system operates efficiently, channeling water into the building's heating and cooling mechanisms, exemplifying resourcefulness. The tower's double-layered glass facade isn't just visually striking, it's a calculated move toward thermal efficiency, significantly slashing the energy footprint. This design is no accident. It's a deliberate strategy, taking into account the local microclimate to enhance environmental conditions around the structure. Internally, the tower doesn't falter in its commitment to sustainability. Elevators and lighting systems are optimized for energy conservation, reducing unnecessary electrical expenditure. The choice of building materials reflects a long-term view, prioritizing longevity and environmental compatibility over the span of the tower's life. Throughout its construction, the focus remained on minimizing waste and maximizing the utility of recycled materials, a forward-thinking approach to building in an era of environmental consciousness. The air filtration system within the tower isn't just a nod to comfort, but a commitment to superior indoor air quality for its occupants. In the sky gardens, native plants add not only a touch of greenery, but also contribute to the local ecosystem, supporting biodiversity. All these elements are brought together under the watchful eye of an intelligent building management system, continuously monitoring and adjusting energy and water use to ensure peak efficiency. The skyscraper, despite its architectural acclaim, has encountered several hurdles. Occupancy rates have remained low. Even by 2018, the tower was only half-filled, primarily by domestic firms, with a mere 30% occupancy by international corporations. Bureaucratic delays in obtaining full fire certification have compounded these challenges, impeding the leasing process and contributing to operational losses that surpass $1.5 billion. The building's unique, twisting facade, designed to mitigate wind loads, has also presented practical issues. Nearly half of the interior space is inefficiently utilized, making it less attractive to potential tenants. This struggle for tenancy was further strained by an economic downturn, which saw overall commercial occupancy rates in Shanghai decline, prompting businesses to seek more cost-effective options. Despite its LEED Platinum certification and advanced energy-saving measures, these green features have not been the draw card for tenants that one might expect, possibly due to the higher associated rental costs. 
Internationally, entities like IMF have scrutinized the economic logic behind China's megaprojects, underscoring the difficulty in recouping such significant investments. This skyscraper, while breaking records and redefining skylines, has yet to realize its full potential as a bustling hub of commerce and innovation. The low occupancy levels and financial setbacks serve as a stark reminder that even the grandest of structures are not immune to market forces and regulatory challenges. Yet, the story of the Shanghai Tower is not written in stone. It remains an evolving narrative of China's urban development, with future chapters that could yet see this megatall giant achieve its intended glory. As it continues to spiral towards the sky, the Shanghai Tower's ultimate legacy within Shanghai's vibrant ecosystem is still to be determined by the tides of time and economy.